Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to talk about Bench LLM. This is an open source project which helps you evaluate the quality of responses from different large language models. Now if you're not familiar with LLMs but have used tools like ChatGPT, you might have heard of models called GPT 3.5 or GPT 4. Now both of those are LLMs and what Bench LLM does is to test out the quality of the results that you get from these models. Now Bench LLM is a Python based open source library which is a gift to the AI community by a company called V7 Labs based in London. Now given that my channel is called Testing AI, this tool is directly relevant to my mission. They are also the kind sponsors of this video, helping me work towards my goal of testing out different AI tools and AI models. Now you might be wondering whether Bench LLM would be relevant to you. An example of a scenario where this would be super useful if you are building an AI chatbot, whether that be for yourself or for some clients. Ideally, you would try different LLM based algorithms to see which one gives the best results. Now with Bench LLM, you can test out multiple prompts and compare the outputs from multiple LLMs to see which one works the best. A simple example would be to run the same prompts against GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 to see which one has better performance. Alright, now let's get started on running this locally. There are a few prerequisites that are needed. Firstly, you need to have Python installed and you also need pip so you can install the bench LLM package. I'm also using Visual Studio Code so I can view the code better. Also, by default, Bench LLM's semantic evaluator uses OpenAI, so that will require an OpenAI API key. Now, I'm going to start with an empty folder called Testing LLMs, and the first step is to install the package. So, I'm going to do pip install Bench LLM and paste it right there and press enter. The next step is to clone Bench LLM's GitHub repo. I'm going to copy that and paste it right there. Now, when you open this up, you're going to see this folder called examples. This is where there is a bunch of examples of how you can use Bench LLM. In today's video, I'm going to help you understand the structure of Bench LLM using this example called chat. And then I'm going to run a bunch of tests against the Langchain agent using the Google search API. All right, let's understand the structure of how tests are organized for this chat example. The first file I'm going to look at is a Python file called eval. Here we are using Bench LLM to test the responses from the chat completion API from OpenAI. So all you need to do after importing the Bench LLM library is to add this line called Bench LLM test and run it against multiple models. Here you see that it's running the test against two models. The the first one is the GPT 3.5 and the second is GPT 4. And you might be wondering about what tests exactly are we running against these two models. Now this is where these two YML or YAML files come into the picture. So Bench LLM uses YAML to set up test cases. So if you look at the first example, we have an input and we have an expected output. Now if you look at the second one, this has a different set of input and a different expected output. So basically, all YAML files are examples of test cases which are going to be run against the models that are specified in the Bench LLM test section. Now that you have an idea of how test cases are organized and how they are being called from inside our code, let's try something a bit more fun. So here I have a Langchain agent using the Google search API. Now if you look at this file called eval.py, we're going to use Langchain agents to call the Google search API and to compare our results for different kinds of prompts. And if you look at some of these test cases that are mentioned here, one of the examples is how many people live in Canada as of 2023. And the expected results should be approximately 38,625,801. And we have other examples like who is Dua Lipa's boyfriend? What is his age raised to the point 43 power? What is 1213 divided by 4345? And who is Kendall Jenner's boyfriend? What is his height raised to 0.13 power? And these are other examples of test cases that we're going to try out in our example. And I just saw that the second and the third examples are similar. So I'm actually going to change this one a little bit. Maybe call it what is 20 divided 
by 10. And the answer should be 2, which is pretty simple. And I'm going to keep it simple for now. So to summarize, we're going to test out the performance of Langchain agents using the Google Search API and run it against a bunch of test cases to see how well it performs against our expected outputs. Now there's a few things that need to be done before that happens. Now the first thing is since we are using Langchain, I'm going to make sure that the package is installed. For that, I'm going to use this command called pip install Langchain. I already did this before, so this should already be installed. You also need to have the package for Google Search already installed. If you don't know much about Google Search API, you can come to this website called searchapi.com and create a free account. And with a free account, you can get up to 100 searches a month that you can run using the SERP API. Now to make sure that you have the package for the Google Search API installed, you can run this command pip install Google Search API. I already have that as well, so it says requirement already satisfied. All right, now that I have my Langchain agent and SERP API packages ready to go, I'm gonna set up my code to run all my tests. The first thing I need to add to my code is to import bench LLM. This will make sure that my code can use all the functionalities of bench LLM, especially bench LLM.test. I'm also gonna add this line called bench LLM.test so my evaluator understands that this is a test and then it's gonna run my search API against all these test cases right here. All right, now that I have my code all set up, I'm going to import the right API keys. I'm going to first go inside my folder, bench LLM, go inside my example file for Langchain agent. All right, now that my code is ready to go, I'm going to export the right API keys. Now, the first one is the OpenAI API key. And if you have never done that before, I recommend you to come to my playlist called Sparks of AGI and watch this first video where I show you how to set up a paid account with OpenAI so you can get an API key. Now, I'm going to create a new secret key called Bench LLM and create a secret key and then say export OpenAI API key. All right, now my OpenAI API key is in the system. I also need an API key for my Google search API. So I'm going to go to my SERP API dashboard and get my private API key right here. I'm going to say export SERP API key and then copy that API key right here. Copy paste that right there. All right, now all my setups are pretty much done and I can run a bunch of test cases against this Langchain agent. So all I need to do is to type bench run eval dot py. And now it's gonna run all my test cases using bench LLM. All right, let's see how this one goes. All right, it says no Python files with the bench LLM.test is found in the file. Hmm, that's kind of interesting because I have this one set up. So the issue was I needed to mention that my suit exists in the current directory. And now I'm going to rerun this file right there. All right, it is starting to work. It's running the first test case saying entering new agent executor chain. And it's running the first action as a search, running the input as distance from Paris to Boston and getting the final answer right here. It's running to the next test case right there and the next one and then all the ones, including the one about Dua Lipa's boyfriend. And remember this one I just added where it's dividing 20 by 10 and getting my answer as two. It has run all the tests that I mentioned in my YAML files, and it has mentioned five tests failed and five passed. The ones which passed are in green, as you can see, and the ones which failed are in red. Let's look at the first one which failed. So here it says the input is what is the total number of points in the 2023 Super Bowl, and the output came out as 2.3086, and my expected result was 2.68. So that was a mismatch, that's why it failed. The next one is how many more points were scored in 2023 Super Bowl than in 2022, and here it failed due to a content length issue, and it says please reduce your prompt or completion length. So that's a different kind of failure. This is the one about the population of Canada where the final number did not match what I got from the Google API. And this is the one about Kendall Jenner's boyfriend, which also failed. 
Now, regardless of the failures and the ones which passed, as you can see how I can run a bunch of different test cases against any model. This is an example of a Langchain agent, but you can run a set of tests against GPT-4 or GPT-3.5 and see how well they perform and see the quality of both your prompts and the models. So hopefully now you understand the power of LM on how you can run numerous test cases against different models and see if their performance matches your standards. And if you actually want to go deep and evaluate every single result, Bench LLM also offers multiple evaluation methods and see if the final result matches the prediction that was specified in these test cases. Now that's all I have for you in this video. If you got some value from it, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure to try out Bench LLM yourself. I have a lot more videos coming up. Till the next one, thank you so much.